Nigeria's first tertiary medical institution, the University College Hospital Ibadan, is in critical need of funds to save it from imminent collapse. That's according to its management team, led by Professor Jesse Otebayo. He raised the alarm when he led lawmakers on an overnight or oversight tour of the facility. Lutaya Famous Call reports. The lawmakers are on a fact-finding mission to Niger's premier university teaching hospital to have a first-hand assessment of the state of things. The team was taking around various ongoing projects to ascertain the quality of work being done, as well as verify its level of financial transparency. But things are clearly not in a good shape. I have looked at the situation, I have gone around, I am inclined to believe in that the, the, the system of budgeting that is prevalent in the country today cannot assist this institution in any manner or form. The challenges here are enormous, especially the level of infrastructural decay we have observed here, and that is decay sequel to age of the institution. There is need for what we call special intervention fund. Sir, if you want all the chieftaincy title in this world, we will give you. <laughs> chieftaincy title from our place, yeah, we will give you. Please, we have to look at this hospital critically. <laughs> I really concur with all my colleagues said, the well said, but as a government, we have to look at this hospital. Any entity, country, person, that loses sight of this or history, you are gonna. The Committee on Health also met with top management staff of the hospital at an interactive session where the Chief Medical Director stated some of the challenges. We have a lot of infrastructural decay, aging, and breaking down of uh, systems and infrastructure that I believe we need a special intervention fund. Some of the newer teaching hospitals have their infrastructure still relatively new. You know, when you buy a car, by the time your car is spending six, seven years, you spend more in keeping it in shape or keeping it on the road. And that is the exact problem that UCH has. So we need the special intervention in recognition of our special status as the first university teaching hospital in the country and the oldest, and in fact we call ourselves premier university teaching hospital. Members of the unions were also represented and they gave further perspective. As much as we are glad and we are interested in doing our best, giving out our best, we also expect a reciprocal from the um, government by motivating us, by paying our areas as at when due. We're being old promotion areas. Um, recently, we were paid 2017, and this is 2020. If our areas and the money being held can be paid as at when due, I'm sure we'll be more motivated than this. This visit is an oversight function of the lawmakers in fulfillment of the constitutional requirement, we seeks to increase and strengthen the capacity of medical facilities across the country. Olutai of Moscow, TVC News, Ibadan.